We have created a new chart of depreciation using a template. And of course, the chart of depreciation is one of the main customizing objects that we need for uh, fixed assets. And now, something that is really important uh, and we should just uh, be clear is that uh, when we copy uh, the subject, uh, what's inside of them, uh, which is what we call depreciation areas, uh, were also copied. Now, the depreciation areas are extremely important because we can use them just to have all the postings uh, for uh, our fixed assets uh, just with different perspectives. For example, one uh, of the mo uh, main use cases for the appreciation areas is just if we have different um, accounting principles that we need to follow in our corporation because then uh, we'll need to create um, some areas let's say for IFRS for example and all those areas will have to comply with all the IFRS um, just uh, rules and then we might have um, another set of depreciation areas uh, which they comply with a local uh, generally accepts accounting principle for example so well um, in this lesson we just want to show uh, which areas were copied and a bit of the settings so we will open financial accounting asset accounting and here we have organizational structures of course and we will use the same uh, transaction the copy reference chart of the appreciation with the appreciation areas but of course now we will um, use uh, uh, the last activity the copy delete the appreciation areas activity so let's select that one and choose. Well, we need to um, be clear about the chart of depreciation, so let's just select the one that we have just created. And as you can see, now we have uh, the summary for all of the 12 areas that were copied. So, well, first and foremost, uh, just you need to to really uh, just check the slide and and uh, well, the, the screen sorry and uh, you have to realize that we have uh, so many areas but not all of the areas will post uh, their values into GL accounts so um, some of these areas are just for informational purposes only so uh, those are of course the ones that are saying area does not post so well um, you might think at first that maybe this is a problem or like uh, something that is, was said as something that is wrong but no um, nothing uh, far as far away of the truth than that because um, this is just uh, some areas in which we want the data in um, asset accounting but we don't want uh, just those numbers in financial accounting so well um, the, the best example could be uh, we want like an area uh, that has all the same values as, as the book accounting area but in another uh, currency for example just maybe in the group currency let's say so uh, in the main area uh, we have the local currency uh, for the company code and in the additional area that will never post uh, into FI, we just want the data in another currency for reference, in the group currency, or for example, maybe we need uh, some uh, adjustments um, for tax purposes. Uh, actually, in this um, uh, chart, we have uh, area 15, for example, just for that, uh, just some local tax adjustments in local currency. Another thing that is, uh, well, really relevant is that typically we have a, an area that is just for management accounting purposes. In our chart of account, uh, chart of account, uh, this is the one, uh, area 20. And as you can see, we uh, have a different setting here because this area is, uh, well, we'll just post, but only depreciation, the depreciation only, not uh, just acquisition, transfers, uh, retirements, uh, none of that. Uh, and well, first of all, again, this area is for management accounting. so just internally and um, the best example just to, to also like understand the the use for for this particular area which is most of the times is the one that is the most different from the others first of all it, uh, we don't have to comply pretty much with specific rules uh, we can just use uh, in this example as a guide uh, maybe IFRS but um, because it's not going to post all the values to the uh, financial accounting um, we don't really need to comply with extensively with all the rules and maybe we just care about the cost for example this appreciation cost but what's also important is that uh, just in the regular areas let's say in area 
one or in area 32, for example, uh, 32 for IFRS, um, and one for the local gap. Uh, we, we need to comply with those rules. And maybe, let's say, a vehicle, uh, according to IFRS, um, the useful life for the vehicle is four years. But uh, this is just an, like an automobile we have to purchase as a corporation because we need to have that in our parking lot and just uh, available so employees, when they need to go to the city hall for some uh, paperwork or just uh, maybe to see like a, a customer or just uh, 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 just sort out something on behalf of the corporation, they can use this car. But the thing is, According to the uh, the accounting principle, maybe just uh, as an example, it could be four years the useful life. So that means the depreciation calculation will be adjusted. Just uh, let's say for four years, um, it's probably going to be a high depreciation amount. And uh, for us uh, internally, we know that the the car is not that the car will just stop working on year four. <laughs> so that just means we can probably like keep using it and. Just the thing here, what's important, is that then you can set up a different useful life for internal purposes in the like in the management accounting area in the CO area, which we also call this one the uh, uh, area twenty. Um, so yes, um, that's actually the whole point of all of this to have different areas in which we have data for the same uh, asset. It's just let's say in our example, it's just one asset, but we can. Uh, uh, just have different numbers, different perspectives in uh, the different sets of areas. Uh, so even different useful life or, for example, even a different depreciation key. So th that's the point and that's the whole idea to have different depreciation areas uh, with different settings. So we have the, the, just the different values uh, uh, for the different points of views that we might want. And then, well, uh, we there's one last thing we really need to say about uh, this screen and it's it uh, we're referring to this the accounting principle so as you can see and uh, why is this so important because in previous releases uh, we didn't have that so now in this for kind releases we need to be careful especially with this in which uh, for each area we can um, have the assignment to uh, just uh, the, again the example is if we have to follow for example two account principles here IFRS and a local gap then uh, if we are using the ledger approach and we have multiple ledgers, then that uh, means that we can assign, uh, actually we have to assign, we can not just like leave this empty. So it's a mandatory field. Uh, so we need to assign the correct um, account principle that uh, and ledger that therefore that is going to be uh, used for each area. So of course, as you can see, we have uh, like just two groups some of the areas are uh, assigned to like the IFRS accounting principle and therefore to a, to a ledger group but then we have the LGs which the, the, the LG just in this example stands for local gap so we have some uh, again some uh, just assigned to LG to local gap and some assigned to IFRS so uh, again mandatory that is something that we cannot just say uh, no, I don't want to 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 assign that. I, I want just to um, leave this field empty because again, it has a, also the consequence of the target ledger group. So all the LGs, as you can see, assigned to the 2L, all the IFRS assigned to the 0L uh, uh, target uh, group ledger. That well, this this um, it has the uh, uh, ledger for IFRS and the ledger for the local gap. So, well, uh, really interesting things, uh, of course, and some customizing settings that are super important. And well, in this scenario, we're copied. Uh, we can also delete if needed uh, some of the areas or modify, uh, create new if also if, if needed. But most of the times, actually, SAP just uh, delivers uh, templates uh, specific for, con for each country. So most of the times we can copy uh, from that template. And uh, again, if no, additional uh, requirement is it's is there for us then we can just uh, use the the default settings so well with this we have finished uh, this lesson of course so um we just want to thank you for all the time and uh, just keep learning with all of our trainings